The main photo shows some black swans. The top little inset video is a royal spoonbill. The left inset video is a white, white faced heron and the right is some fur seals. This is my wildlife watching vlog for my trip along the southeast coast of the South Island of New Zealand. I always keep the camera pointed away from me and at the wildlife. This is based on a... oh you'll see everything kind of pop out of the map so you can see where everything was taken. I start in Invercargill. These are two pied stilts. Everything I'm doing here is done by public transport very cheaply so it's a real kind of budget backpacking trip. These are two Australian shoveler ducks. So I picked Invercargill first because I was here anyway because I was going to Stewart Island. And so I found I had a couple of days spare. Here's a couple of black swans. And in a moment we're going to see a white-faced heron eating a crab. Here comes the white-faced heron. Everything I talk about here and a lot more detail in terms of like practicalities is on my blog and also in my book which is a bit of an upsell but you can get pretty much everything you need from the book from the blog if you don't want to buy the book see the link in the description anyway so in the Cargill I found I could just walk from the hostel as long as I didn't mean I'm doing a long day walk and then I went to Dunedin where I caught a local bus to then go for a walk on a headland where I saw red bull gull was what we saw first we just saw a northern raw albatross flying and now this is a sacred kingfisher. We're about to see a video of a f of some fur seals and kelp gulls. And in a moment, we're going to see a video of a royal spoonbill feeding. So the trip to so from a hostel in Dunedin, I just took a local bus and was able to go on a couple of nice walks during the day on a peninsula and saw lots of nice wildlife including that fur seal colony in this spoonbill. So my third stop, because I missed a few stops that were awkward to get to by public transport, my third stop was at Omaru. Again, this is this is a bit like in the cargo, which is you can just walk from the hostel and just do a nice long day walk. This is a pier which has been adopted by some corm uh, some shags or cormorants. We're now looking at the ones that were in the foreground, which are spotted shags, and in the background were Stewart Island shags. And did you notice they were kind of separated on the pier? They're taking one end each. So again, these these are the spotted shags here. I took some photos here as well. Here's a photo of a white fronted tern carrying a fish. I got some particularly good photos because the path went along the side of a cliff and I was able to kind of get nice eye line photos as the birds flew past me. This is a spotted shag that I was looking down on so maybe it was on a nest below the path. I turned up the exposure uh, very uh, high on the, my camera so I could see inside the, that little penguin nest, although I didn't use a flash and I didn't disturb it. Took a photo from outside and carried on. This is a yellow hammer, which is an introduced bird from Europe. And then I went to Bushy Beach where I was hoping to see yellow-eyed penguins. So I got here for so mid-afternoon and then stayed at the watch point waiting. So while I was waiting for the yellow-eyed penguins to appear, Here's a video of what I was seeing out at sea, some gulls, some shags, and I think there's a fluttering shearwater uh, moving across the middle of the shot. Maybe there's lots of fish just at this point, which is why there's loads of birds flying in the same area. Here's an adult and an immature gannet. And because of where we are, it's a pretty fair guess they're Australasian gannets. Oh! They've arrived. It's a yellow-eyed penguin. If you see them early enough, you can see them coming out of the surf. I never quite pulled off seeing one, uh, catching one with the camera. This is one of about four or five that we saw come up the beach, because 
There was myself and quite a few other people, there were maybe 20 or 30 of us, a popular place for people to come and watch the penguins coming in. So, they seemed to wait a few minutes, maybe drying out, who knows, and then they'd walk into the trees where they would have burrows. Thanks for watching, remember, link in the video description if you want to check out my blog, which got more information.